Ah, fuck. I just thought I'd turn on the camera. Excuse my language. My family hates when I use the F word. Or when I use any profanity whatsoever. Because <laughs> it's like... Just wrong. You know, you have to be Im impeccable with your word, which I believe I am, and so there's a lot of feeling that goes behind the fuck. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope this is... find you well, and that I just want to share with you, um, as I like to share. Um, we're listening to soundtracks and movies, movie and film musical scores and instrumentals. Yes, um, to add to the life of the game of life, to add to the, you know, because we always, unfortunately in life, our, we walk around without a soundtrack behind the image that we're projecting, which would be very, very interesting, because if we're projecting a big, you know, Iron Man-like chest, and like, you know, I am manly, and I am this, and then we project those, <laughs> it'd be great to have this kind of, you know, um, soundtrack behind all that, you know, and um, <laughs> maybe we would get your point across. But anyway, what I'm just saying, what I just want to say is that you can be happier than God. I don't know. That's also blasphemy as well, to speak about that. You ever think about the original sin? You know, the original sin that you're already born a sinner? You know what I mean? And like, like this is kind of a funny little thing, you know, that may offend a lot of people, but it's my prerogative to, to just pick and choose how I do, because that story of the original sin, I was baptized two times before they, uh, of the age of 12 years old, and that is really funny because I was a sinner, I was born a sinner, that's what my church says, and that you can't do this and this and this and this, all that, all that kind of thing. And that is really, really incredible, but you can be, if you let go of all those things, and it's really, really difficult for sure, because, you know, if you've listened, we, we, the conditioned thoughts, are your conditioned thoughts, and you, it would not, it's very difficult to even inquire into those. Um, and certainly, I have to remind myself from time to time, because I am observer, observing my experience 24-7, like really, I said it before, and um, I don't know, I realize I don't know anything, only a perspective. But as I do that, I realize that, um, yeah, gosh, I, if I let go of all of those things, those conditional thoughts, then I can be really much, much more in the flow of life, accepting all that is, and I can be happy with the, the challenges, and I can be happy with mm, the experiences that come into life, because I know that the challenges, the cha from challenges I learn, and that's, what us human beings are here to do is to learn and not to battle against what is, <laughs> I guess. My, again, my perspective, uh, my perspective. Um, that is uh, certainly something wonderful to recognize if you're willing to and if you're not. First of all, can we just talk about these glasses? I'm going to stop here for a second because these glasses right here are just... I don't know. They're really, really, really nerdy. And I love it so much. So anyway, back to the happiness uh, thing. Happiness is including the whole journey of the ups and downs and the flow of life. The ins and outs and all of that stuff. And the challenges and the dark and the light and all the dualism. And all of this includes all of that. And not denying any of that part of yourself when you're like... You know, like, like, there's no need for any denial of, uh, of any kind of um, illusional concept that arises in the mind that creates and perpetuates, perpetuates, perpetuates your mood or whatever. Especially when it's really, really down. Because, um, and just be down. Like, happiness includes, like, the ability to actually suffer with joy. You know what I mean? Suffering with joy is such an unusual concept. And it's definitely, definitely a concept, but it's definitely something that promotes self-awareness. Because suffering is going to happen. Like, it happens because it's part of our human condition. And like, you know, um, like a mood. Like, it doesn't even need a thought. Because you're definitely going to feel de depressed or, 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 um, or the low energy feelings, like I like to say. And then their high ones and everything. But those are definitely going to come into play. I certainly, as I witness my experience, I witness that... Um, that comes and like I used to try to be like everything was instantly gratifying in my life before I would dance I would get the applause I would drink I would do drugs I would do all kinds of things I experienced I have absolutely no regret for any of those kind of things um, 
because uh, you know I believe in everything moderation, no judgment. Everything teaches me, and what I realized is that doing those things it made me wake up to the fact that everything was basically things. What I was doing was very temporary, and temporary was like once I did the performance, I got the applause. You, that's a metaphor for everything in life, you know, like once I worked out and I got the attention with my body and um, and then my dancing was really good, I got this kind of like f like feeling of like this this kind of you, um, euphoria, like this or this kind of like feeling of, um, I'm in a cloud of like just acceptance and love and appreciation and I realized that that is basically surface because it's like you know this this charade that you would play and everything and if you heard me speak about the charade the sh life is a charade and once <laughs> once you recognize that there's such beauty and then you can be happy happier or happier with the fact that you recognize those kind of things you wake up to the fact that you're not like um you're not like some kind of slave to social agreements or society or all that kind of thing and so that's that's a really beautiful day um before let me see, before I want to speak about one, you know, books, I've read like thousands and thousands of books about self-awareness and why, you know, there are thousands of books, there are thousands of people, so that's kind of my tribe of like self-help. Um, I think everybody needs a little bit of self-help until they wake up to the fact that they are not their themselves or like their stories, right? So um, um, I want to, before, before I let you go today, I want to talk about, um, Conversations with God. Now, Conversations with God was one of the earliest books that I read. I read uh, that I read from um, uh, from Neil Donald Walsh, uh, Conversations with God, um, and it was really it's a channeled book. So if you have a problem with channeling, you can let go of that idea. But the message is really profound. It makes you think. It really it really provides you space to to really think about your your experiences, your experiences and experiences and what, what all those are. So I really really suggest that book. And he also wrote a, another book called Happier Than God, and um, I have it right here. I have it right here with me. I read it from time to time. I open it up from time to time, and I read, uh, I read because it's just it resonates with me. Now, like maybe this doesn't resonate with you, but certainly, certainly, if um, if you're recognizing that you are not your 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 thoughts or your thought patterns or not the world or the story that you have created within yourself, or that society has definitely helped you with that, and so has every person that you've come come into contact to reassure it or reaffirm it or to wake you up from from not that so if you've constructed a whole concept of an idea of who you are these books like here will definitely a conversations with God is one of the best-selling books out there um, it was written I don't know 20, 30 years ago 40 years ago I don't even really necessarily remember but um I can definitely definitely recommend um, Neil Donald Walsh to you if you're at all interested in, in any kind of thing so that's like just one author of like self-realization waking up to waking up waking 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 up and actually there's a movie um, conversation with God if you don't read it so um, I definitely like the read first before and so there's movies on on YouTube and stuff and so it, it speaks about Neil Donald's walk Neil Donald Walsh and about manifesting the, about the, what the movie the secret was talking about but if it's like you know what I also realized is that um, it's not about you know life is not about materialism and materialism is a byproduct of of or or or, 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 or you know, it's kind of promotes a certain kind of image, which is a okay. It's a okay when you know all these things that you know what you're doing. You know what I mean? When you, when you have materialistic, There's nothing wrong with materialism. I love some clothes. I love to buy shoes that are like 400, 500 euro, which is like I do occasionally from time to time. But I'm not married, and I can't fuck those shoes, and I can't fuck you know like my house or anything. So I'm less of a material materialistic girl than ever than than well definitely uh, ever. And I never really had objects or products or um, materialistic things. Um, from time to time I definitely have some clothes and stuff like that, but um, I certainly had like to have fun and buying things can be really fun. And but that is so temporary and you know that this is kind of buying can give you some short feeling of satisfaction and that you're important and that you project and you know that you're and that your car and your your house and everything like really is like yo 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 look at me look at me and it perpetuates that kind of like image and it's sub, 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 sometimes so subconscious that was definitely for me a uh, subconscious um definitely so I used to spend a big part of my life being in debt because I wanted to, in debt in debt because my soul was was starving and I I didn't feed it so now I'm feeding it 
with more and more authentic things. Okay, it's gonna turn off. I love you so much and thank you so much for watching this far and um, I, I have a beautiful day and talk to you when I do. Bye.